It's Madden NFL 22, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Bears and the Chargers, and it comes your way next. Two one-and-one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. He got maybe a half yard at most, but eventually they'll be left with a third and two. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Goff now looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, again, man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. Bradley Chubb picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit, right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. So you the ball. Come on, right? Just call the call. We're going to play. Come on now. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Off the play fake, Jenkins. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. On third down, Jenkins. They set up the screen for Henry. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Desmond King back deep. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
call. Well, this one complete to Calvin Harmon. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Running right through him. Fights through and now a crease. Touchdown, Chicago! Saquon Barkley, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After one 7-0 on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line to give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And shutting it off, now open field. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A give to Henry. Runs over him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit. He is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll try and run for it with Henry. Powers through. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will get in across the truck for the Chargers touchdown. Derrick Henry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At 
the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Here's second and ten. To throw is gone. He's going to take another shot here. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun. Golf. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Bradley Chubb able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Under pressure, they got him again. J.J. Watt, he's the one that drops in this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. And just not much a quarterback can do there, C.D. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. A final shot before break here. Goff. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Let's go, let's go. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Not much room to run. Just gets it to the 35 after showcasing his tough running. He can muster only a yard there. They'll be left with a third and very short. Again, it's Henry, able to power through. First down and much more for Henry. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. 71 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Back to throw, Jenkins. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. They gave him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, 
That's a big day. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down, here's Henry. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. What an advantage having a lead guy to build the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. He's been busy today. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. Blankenship's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. And they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. I think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that's going to up their end. He's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. There'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They begin with Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Derek Henry. And some space here. Powers through it. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 140 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. This is Henry. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. No doubt, though, 
those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Henry. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like he's and he takes it in for the Charger touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now golf. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, it's gone. Going deep here for Parker. And that is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Catch is made, it's Harmon. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Again, golf. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Justin Simmons. And the Chargers will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. Chargers in good field position to start out first and ten at the 45. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Running from the gun with Henry. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On is the Chargers punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down and close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Goff now to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll get him down up past the 15. First down now with that clock rolling. The throw over the middle, taken in. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Golf. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. One final kneel down here as it comes inside the 40-second mark. And that should be enough to put this one on ice. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They didn't give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. So for the Chargers, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the year.